Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kniss. This is The Daily Rage. Let's take a look at NVIDIA today. Now, some of you who've been around for a while are like, wait, you're actually looking at a stock? Yes. Reason being is that it's NVIDIA. It has a huge, massive impact on many of these indexes. Obviously, the NASDAQ and the S&P. It also recently joined the Dow 30. So it is hugely impacting these. And as you can see, with earnings coming out after the bell, these are having some trouble. <laughs> <laughs> today. Everything is down today in terms of indexes. So this is the daily NVIDIA chart. And like I said, earnings are going to drop today after the bell. But let's take a look at last time earnings came out and see what happened then. Okay, this was back in August on the 28th. This was their last earnings date. And as you can see, it got a little wild. We closed for the day about here, gapped down the following day, continue to push lower, although we actually had quite a wild day. There was a lot of wick on that candle. Next day, not much more than a doji. I mean, that's just a tiny little spinning top, meaning indecision, big time. And then look what happened. Gap down again and whoo, big push lower. It finally found some support down here. And then, you know, since then has essentially been working its way higher other than, you know, this was a pretty dramatic <laughs> Pretty dramatic little pullback, but we didn't even get to the standard line. So like not the end of the world by any means, especially for those of you that hold it longer term. And it's been just crazy in the last couple of weeks. I mean, gap up here, consolidation here, fell down, fractal, beautiful fractal right there. Huge day yesterday. And then today it's like, wait, what are we doing? Okay, so if we just look purely at the technicals, it is below the parabolic SAR, indicating a push down. However, knowing that this is a daily time frame, that signal is pretty, pretty broad. So the last two days obviously were a nice push and we're much closer to that parabolic SAR dot. We did drop down below the turning line today, but we have since recovered. And that's a pretty good sign. We still have loads of room to go to the daily cloud. So we will have to wait and see what happens after the bell today. If you trade this thing or if you trade the futures that are associated with this thing, I wish you the absolute best of luck. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.